Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm delighted today to welcome Nani Coloretti to the Banking Committee. Before my time in the Senate, I had an opportunity to work at the Treasury Department to set up the new Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. By the time I arrived, Nani had already been hard at work with a team of Treasury employees putting together the pieces for what would eventually become the Consumer Bureau. I had the chance to work closely with Nani at the time, and I got to know her as someone with vision, with persistence, warmth, dedication, and perhaps most of all as an operational whiz. Nani is someone who can take on any challenge, no matter how big, how complicated, or how difficult, and we had a number of challenges for her to take on. Nani is dedicated to government service and her background working for the Treasury Department, the City of San Francisco, and the Office of Management and Budget is broad and deep. I am very pleased to see Nani nominated for this new role, and she has my strong, heartfelt support for it. HUD will be lucky to have her. As I noted in my introductory remarks, you've been managing and overseeing governmental agencies for over two decades, starting at the Office of Management and Budget, then at various positions uh, in local government in San Francisco, and finally, as Acting Assistant Secretary for Management at the Treasury Department. And so you have a lot of experience managing bureaucracies, large and small. And what I'd like to ask you to do is just spend a minute reflecting on what lessons you've learned from this range of management experiences. Sure, thank you for that question, Senator. Um, one thing that I've learned is that um, this is going to sound like a cliche, but it is very important to, to have the best people and to have them in the right places and to support them. Because uh, as you, and you know this, as you go higher up in an organization, you're doing your work through people. And so uh, you are a facilitator of the best, the very best work that that agency, that group, that team can bring. And that requires really just understanding your team and being able to deploy them in the right way and supporting them when they do their work. Um, the second thing um, that I know you also are aware of is it's important to understand how to um, work with the different systems that support an agency, and I think this is what I can bring to HUD. In other words, uh, how does the procurement system work, and can you make it better? Can you make that process uh, work better? How does the, does the financial system do what it needs you to do? These are um, sort of the wiring and piping of any organization, but they really can help um, uh, programs and policies succeed if they are um, both understanding the mission and the outcomes uh, that are hoped for and supporting them ad adequately. Yeah. That's very helpful, thank you. Can you just give me some insight from your perspective about the special challenges you think you'll face at HUD or the special opportunities, or, or let's say both. Maybe that's even <laughs> okay. better. Well, let's call them opportunities. Okay, good. <laughs> um, thank you for that question, Senator. Um, I, you know, like many federal agencies, uh, HUD has a fantastic set of very committed civil servants um, working very hard every day to, to do a lot of their, what it looks to be a very difficult portfolio, um, but important to communities and to this country. Um, and also, like many agencies, some of its, its uh, deepest challenges are in its operating systems. And so HUD itself has identified these in their strategic plan that they just released, and you, you do see some of it in their audit. It, uh, some of their biggest challenges are really around their human capital, um, both systems and processes, um, uh, and their grants management and financial management, and those are some of the things I hope I can help HUD improve. Well, excellent. As I said in my opening statement, you have my wholehearted support, and uh, it, if you are confirmed to this position, I hope that we'll be able to work together uh, to help advance HUD's very important mission. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.